Hey guys and welcome back again to me Ben playing City Skylines today in my city of... No! Today I'm back with a tutorial regarding City Skylines 2. So just recently, meaning exactly yesterday on the 24th of October 2023, I started playing City Skylines 2 for the very first time. And some of you might have been thinking, yeah, has he been invited by Paradox or not? No, I haven't been, but I also haven't asked for it. Just because of the reason that I think I'm not willing, like at that point in time, I'm not ha having a lot of followers here in YouTube, so, so why should I ask for a favor from their developers? Either way, I think um, Paradox Interactive, they actually did a... An amazing job with this game and if you compare it to a vanilla vanilla version like seven eight years ago of city skylines one and now city skylines two you can already tell and see the huge potential of the game either way before we dive right into the best graphic settings that i was able to figure out for my personal setup I want to tell you a story about my first live streaming event yesterday. Um, I went online on YouTube, streamed for about two hours. I had my headphones on and I didn't really realize. I was always wondering, oh, what's this kind of humming noise in the background? Is there anything wrong with my sound card or whatnot? So after I stopped this, the stream and after I put off my headphones I realized that actually my GPU is working 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 hard making a lot of noise because the fans kicked in significantly like literally I've never heard the fans kicking in of my GPU ever before with any other game except for City Skylines now and this is mainly or this happened mainly only because of just one single reason that I will tell you more about right now. In case you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and in case you want to see more content like this popping up in the near future, I would appreciate if you would follow me, leave me a like, leave me a comment down below. I'm more than happy to provide you with any insights, any tutorials that I can create. And yeah, now I would say let's dive right into it and have a look at the graphics options in City Skylines 2. So just a quick explanation here. I am playing on a 4K display and but I'm not playing in 4K which is uh, yeah kind of a bummer. I figured like when I'm playing in 4K I think there might be a huge quality difference between um, textures in this not 4k resolution i think it's called 2k i have no idea um, like in that resolution compared to the 4k re resolution it it's it, it's making a huge difference the reason why i turned it down is because i wanted to have a higher frame rate at 4k i had somewhere between 15 to 20 frames per second which is okay i'm kind of used to that coming out of city skylines one but i wanted to give it a try and i figured out like 60 hertz 2560 times 1440 is a great value for me even if my display doesn't really support 60 hertz because i'm working on an office display and it's pretty old it's 4k samsung i don't know what display it's great it's amazing color quality everything else is awesome but what doesn't work for me is for example v-sync yeah not a problem at all in 60 hertz i can't see it but that's fine um I'm just giving the game the potential to run at 60 hertz, which is the important thing, because then it's more fluid and easier like to watch and to handle things there. This play may, uh, mode I'm using full screen. There is this windowed mode and the full screen window mode. I don't like it to be honest, so I always go full screen whenever I can. 
game cursor mode, I didn't change anything there. Depth of field. And this is the important thing. Um, I had to disable that in the gameplay in the live like thing that I had yesterday. I had it on tilt shift and this cranked up my uh, GC GPU immediately. Like fans hitting hard, fans going really, really loud. So I disabled that because I don't need depth of field, to be honest. It looks nice, but it's not important for the gameplay. And I'm only here for the gameplay and nothing else. Global graphics quality. In general, I set them to high. I only made one change, which is now the reason that it's a custom global graphic quality setting. But I will tell you what I changed. It's actually two, two things that I changed. First one, dynamic resolution scale quality. I disabled it. It's not important for me. Anti-aliasing is something I deactivated because like same and you can see that here with motion blur i'm not in a racing game guys i'm in a city building game i'm in a strategic thing here so i care more about like visuals like clouds quality fog quality settings volumetric quality settings blah 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 all nice and good so i left everything else on high except those two or three things that I just mentioned. In the advanced settings, I did not make a single change, to be honest, because this here, all the details, whatnot, of course you can get fancy and you can, I don't know, do things here and there, but I'm not into that. I want to keep it simple and that's how it works for me. Regarding my setup, I have a GeForce um, 9070 RTX Titanium graphics card. I have two 4K displays actually running. One on the left, one on the right. The left one is my gaming screen. The other one, I'm just watching uh, what my recording program is doing here. And I have 64 gigs of RAM couple of ssd cards whatnot so pretty much standard more or less standard on the higher end nothing too fancy in here i'm playing on windows 11 so that's all good these are my settings and before i'm ending this here i want to show you and i know i haven't done a lot here but i want to show you my recent build called milton it's still a small town somewhere set in North America with the North American theme enabled, but unfortunately, yeah, I did this weird thing that they are driving on the wrong side of the road because I thought the yeah, left left hand m might make sense in that case. No, but it doesn't for whatever reason. <clears throat> what I, by the way, absolutely love is how quickly that game is loading. Look at that. Like City Skylines 1, I would have waited for ages. Way longer than I'm having to wait right now. So what you can occasionally see is that textures and whatnot, they're getting updated um, with the initial load. But um, for me, that's actually fine. And at the very beginning, it's a bit slow. I have to admit, but this is also due to the fact because I have these volumetric clouds active. If you want to deactivate those, um, go over there and then it runs even smoother, to be honest. So I'm, I'm honestly using these cloud settings only when I uh, record videos or take pictures. So I can simply switch these off or set them to low and go back and resume the game and then 
you can see clouds have vanished. Um, but the game is running smoother now, way smoother than before. And if you want to change that completely and make it even smoother, so this is, there is always some room for some room for adjustments, of course. Um, so I want to set the clouds quality settings to disabled, the volumetric quality settings to low, that's fine, global to medium, and then I should be all good when it comes to the gameplay. But this is fine. It still, it still looks nice, it still looks good and see the difference. How well it is working now compared to before. Yeah, and you see these textures are getting updated slightly for the first time when you scroll and fly and whatnot through your town. Uh, but as soon as you made these changes, I think it does look really nice. So over here we are. Thank you for watching me today. Um, yeah, please let me know any suggestions, anything you would like to see. And thank you for following in advance. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.